Yeah, Emily's turn to serve. A major part of Toronto United Church Council's commitment to social welfare has been its leadership in providing summer outdoor camping programs in south-central Ontario for more than a hundred years. Council ensures provision and preservation of healthy, safe campsites for summer wilderness programs, serving 2,200 children and youth from Toronto and Southern Ontario every year. Since we believe no child should be turned away because of a family's inability to pay camp fees, 500 of these young people are helped by Council's Camping Opportunities Fund. So why is the church involved in camping? Listen to this. Being close to nature is just so calm and peaceful. It feels really good. If you just stop and listen, you can hear so many sounds going on. Because of the forest, is like right nearby. One of my favorite things about being at camp for the summer is that I get to be away from internet and phone and just remember that to live simply so others can simply live. So far I've had so much fun. There was an awesome campfire last night and we went swimming, we're gonna go kayaking. Canoeing is my favorite thing at camp. We also have a lot of fun doing arts and crafts. I'd have to say my favorite thing probably have to be sailing. It's just like you get you get out of the water and it's like the greatest thing ever because you sort of just feel the wind and then you have like you just look all around you and you just sort of like have this small little area where you can just talk alone. It's really awesome. My favorite thing is making new friends because then you can get really connected with them. I think my favorite thing at camp is probably eating in the dining hall because we get to do all these crazy fun things. My favorite thing to do at camp is sports and games. Sometimes animals can give a gift to a kid that as people we can't. Oh my goodness. The animals can be a calming influence. They have to walk by the bridge that has a beaver dam and the frogs that are there and the water snakes that we sometimes see or the turtle buried in it. And it does a great job at showing them the interdependence we have. It's supposed to be yeah. that. It's a toad. He's bumpy up at the top. Instead of just sitting and hearing about something, you get to go outside and practice it. Three, two, one. We teach people the ability to succeed. The tools we use are often the swimming and canoeing, the hard skills that we have here, but the most important gift they leave here with is the ability to succeed in their lives. And I think that's the most important thing that we give them, to, to know that they've got it within themselves to succeed. Council fundraising supports the capital construction projects and maintenance needs of each of the camps. They depend upon Council's support to keep their buildings safe and functional for the next generation of campers. The nurse's cabin at Camp Big Canoe has been refurbished and doubled in size. At Lake Scugog Camp, the old farmhouse used as a dining hall has been renovated and expanded. And there's now a new deck at Camp Big Canoe for their refurbished rainy day theatre and staff training space. Its kitchen has been updated with a new dishwasher, stove and convection oven. And Big Canoe's new barn will winter canoes, tractors and other large equipment. Barrow Lake's rebuilt chapel and new canoe dock have helped freshen up the site for the camp's 100th anniversary. In preparation for a new camping season and a new group of very excited campers, this year the camp's construction budget exceeds $475,000. Please be generous with your support and with your introductions to funding agencies. If I was going to talk to a kid that had never been to camp, I would tell them how much fun we have, things we do, all the games we play. I would say, like, don't be nervous. Just, like, relax and you, like, meet new friends and have lots of fun and just be yourself. It's fun to take your campers and go stargazing. <laughs>